The iPhone and iPad have hidden features you may not even know about. These features will make using your device fun, fast, and more effective. Every iOS and iPadOS release adds new features and you need to stay up to date. Chances are you only know a fraction of what your device is capable of. In this video, I'll walk you through some of my favorite hidden features and maybe you can share some of your own in the comments section below. Most of these features can be used on an iPhone or iPad. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. If you're interested in attending one of my live Q&As, sign up using the link in the video description. If you're already receiving my weekly newsletter, you'll automatically be invited. Let's get started. To pull up a website in a hurry on your iPhone, type the web address into Safari and then push and hold on the period next to the space bar and you'll see that the URL endings appear. And then you can slide up to select the URL ending that you need. It looks a little bit different on the iPad, but next to the space bar, you'll see a .com. And if you push and hold on that, you'll see that the other URL endings appear. It's time to stop searching multiple pages or folders to find your apps. You can go directly to the app library and search, or you can just pull down on your screen start typing in the app that you want to use and you'll see an app pops up. All you have to do is hit go in the bottom right corner and you will be taken into that app. You probably don't use half the apps that are on your device. Thankfully, you can move them to the app library so that your screen looks clean and the app is still available. Simply push and hold on the app that you'd like to remove select Remove App, and then choose Remove from Home Screen. You can now locate that app in the app library. If you are a one-handed texter, you have the option to move the keyboard to the left or right palm by pushing and holding on the emoji icon in the bottom left corner, and then choosing the left keyboard or right keyboard. Maybe you're second guessing that message that you just typed up in the Messages app. To erase the message, just shake your iPhone and tap on Undo, and that message will be erased. If for some reason you decide that you want that message to return, shake your iPhone again, tap on Redo, and the message will reappear. Another way of doing this is taking three fingers, placing them on the screen, swiping to the left, the message disappears. If you swipe three fingers to the right, the message will reappear. Are you still switching back and forth between the numbers and the letter keyboard? That's not necessary. All you need to do is push and hold on the numbers keyboard, slide over to the number or the symbol that you want to use, let go of it, and you're right back to the texting keyboard. You only need to tap on your screen to keep your iPhone or iPad's camera focus sharp. Try holding your finger on the screen until the AFAE lockbox appears. This way, your camera won't lose focus no matter which way you position it. To take a photo while recording video, just press the shutter button next to the video button. Because the photo is taken with the video camera sensor, it won't be as high a quality as your other images, but it's still a neat little trick. It's never opportune when the storage full notification pops up just when you're about to take a photo. Lucky for you, there are some options. Open Facebook or Twitter, create a new post or tweet, click on the camera icon, snap your photo, discard your post or tweet, open the camera app, and you should see the photo in your camera roll. You can now add captions or keywords to any photo. 
just swipe up on the image or video and you'll see below the photo there is a caption box along with lots of other information about that image. If you tap into the caption box, add your caption or keyword, and when you're finished, tap on done. To locate that photo later on, swipe down to access the universal uh, search engine, type in the keyword that you used, and you should see in the photo section that particular image or images. Hopefully you found a few of these features useful and maybe a few you didn't know. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.